What's going on guys and welcome back to some more Sonic Adventure DX in the last part we basically uh, did the second to last of the uh, The Sonic levels and we have to chase after Eggman in this part now There's gonna be a little bit of a puzzle we have to do to kind of get to final egg But uh, I'm not always good at figuring out this puzzle for whatever reason I can usually like you have to kind of like You have to kind of well, Let me turn my audio down, but uh, yeah, you kind of have to uh, kind of like Go in the middle, like that, and uh, we figured out the puzzle. And welcome to Final Egg, the final action stage. This is the final of the Sonic levels, and this will be the finale of the Sonic story. And the next part, we're just going to do the Tails story. But uh, this is the last video that's going to be post commentary. We're going to go back to live commentary to talk about the Tails story, but uh, as long as that I don't lose the commentary. But uh, Anyway, so we're gonna use, uh, we get a shield right off the bat in, uh, the last final egg, but, uh, there's gonna be a lot of things that can be set up to hit, take out your rings and all that, like those robot enemies. Like, uh, yeah, be a little careful. Yeah, you don't wanna, uh, you don't wanna, A, touch the laser blades on those, you don't wanna touch when it's lightning, so, uh, yeah, those enemies can be a little tricky at times. So yeah, this is the last of the Sonic levels. I do enjoy playing a, the Sonic levels a lot, and um, I don't really enjoy playing as much the Tails levels, and I will go into more why when we start playing as Tails. I'll point out to what characters I like using, and I will point out to what characters I don't like using in this game, but uh... Yeah, let's just say when we start playing as Tails, the other characters, we're playing the same story, but from their perspectives. And again, the uh, much like the last few stages, this is gonna have like multiple sections. And we got a solid ten rings out of that, but uh, we should almost get a one up out of this. But uh, yeah, it's the very last of Sonic levels. And uh, again, the final boss is a uh, the final boss of Sonic portion is Eggman, but uh, I don't really think he's that hard. But uh, I'll explain more into when we get into the fight with him. There's a one up, and uh, yeah, we're gonna have like 30 something lives. Which the Sonic portion, they definitely give out the one ups like candy, and I'm not so much the other characters though. There's also lesser stages when you play with the other characters. There's not, I don't think there's, there's not 10 stages with any of the other characters. And oh yeah. Yeah, you have to kind of wait till you have to wait till that platform goes. And you have to wait till that uh, hammer things out of the way. That that can be a tricky jump. Like you might think that's a platform, but nope. I've thought there have been times I thought that thing was a platform, and then like I just fall to my death. Then we go down elevator. I think. Uh, do I lose my rings here? Oh wait, there's a checkpoint. But anyway, we go down further. Have to jump from platform to platform now. Um, like, yeah, Sonic is not always a game about running fast. Like, there's platforming elements too. Like, again, like I've explained this multiple times in the quest this playthrough. The thing with a lot of Sonic games is that you have to kind of, they're kind of, they're kind of like practice worthy. It's like a lot of Sonic games, like even the good, like the good Sonic games, like yeah, they're very skill oriented. Like, you have to kind of know these levels. I've explained this multiple times throughout the course of the playthrough, but, um... Anyway, so, yeah, there's a shield and a one-up. Or almost to another one-up, actually. Yeah, you can actually wipe out the enemy, but the problem is they can explode, so, uh, yeah, we want to actually climb up this ladder. Avoid the spikes. Another checkpoint, and I think, uh, hold on, do I, um, yeah, these wind things be a pain since I died right there, but I hit the checkpoint, so, um, yeah, sometimes the wind mechanics in this game can take a while to get used to.
you know, like that. But uh, fine. I think there's an area. Oh wait, I'm not thinking of the right area. We have to kind of go up that ledge right there. Then another checkpoint. Hold on. Be careful with this area. There have been times I fell in the wrong spot and I took a death that way. I almost took a death even there. But, like, there have been times with this area I fell in the wrong spot and I just took a death that way. I think we need the light speed dash in this area. Yeah, we do. Kind of... Wait, no, this isn't the right area, and I lost my rings in the process. Yeah, we just have to open this. Oh, yeah, you can actually kill a lot of these enemies with the light speed dash. <laughs> but now we just go in here. I think there's a subsequent area we use the light speed dash. I think it's like, uh... And also, um... Yeah, sometimes these magnets, sometimes these enemies are a little bit of a pain in the ass like that. I think I take a death right here. Yeah, I took I took a death right there. At least we hit the checkpoint. Um, like both times, I think I do. I take another death right here. Oh, well, I don't. I don't think I do. I like those uh Sonic dolls. They're basically like hung like uh like Eggman's form of torture. I think they're I think there's a role more than like when we play as E102 Gamma. Yeah, this is the area we need to use the light speed dash. I was thinking of. Yes. And that is the last of Sonic levels, so all we really have to do now is fight Eggman. Yeah, not bad. And there's going to be a cutscene with Sonic approaching uh, Eggman. And yeah, Eggman's going to have the... Uh, he's, it's typical in Sonic games where he uh, has kind of a ship. He does in, uh, he does in Sonic 1 and 2, but... Uh, I always thought this egg, the Robotnik fight in Sonic 1 was... Kind of not very good because you can't get it. You can't take a hit. And plus, you have to like hit his uh, poles. Anyway, so this is this is Egg Viper the final boss of the Sonic portion. Now, um, get used to he say, hearing, get the loot of this, because he says that every time he shoots, but, um, he's hearing that, but, uh, he's gonna shoot a couple times, and then, like, once he opens up, you basically have to jump toward him. He's gonna change phases throughout the portion of this fight. This is an easy fight, but the problem is it's, like, a long fight, and it's, like, there's no, like, save point in this boss, so it's, like, if you're on the, if you're on the last hit and you die, you can just, you basically have to do this fight over. Yeah, my, my advice is just keep running left and right, and then when he shows his head, basically jump toward his head. Eventually, he's gonna, um, yeah, he's gonna uh, sh have some platforms. So just jump on the platform like this, 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 and then hit Eggman. This isn't really that hard of a fight. Yeah, and Eggman is saying, get a load of this. He says that every time he shoots something. And uh, he's gonna, um, I think he can actually shoot if you take too long in hitting those, um, no, I thought I saw, I think I saw, like, the Super Gaming Brothers, I think they waited it out. Anyway, so he's gonna change up phases, but he's gonna shoot and, uh, he's gonna basically shoot and, uh, he's gonna start 
Actually, no, he's not going to do that yet, but uh, he's going to do that normal uh, attack he was in before, but uh, he was doing a different method of shooting. Basically, when you take half of his health off, the more pissed he's going to get, and basically, like, uh, he's basically going to go all in on you, I think, in the next hit. Yeah, he's gonna go all in now. He's basically gonna try to shoot uh, those um, those uh, rotating things. You gotta jump one of them and hit Eggman. I'm not always good at timing that jump though. You have to hit, you have to hold forward and do it to attack. Like, I'm not always good at like those kind of attacks in Sonic games. Anyway, so we just have to, uh, yeah, we hit him that time, but I uh, hit two more hits and he'll be down. All systems, full power. He's gonna, he's gonna go all in now, like, um, be also careful because there are times where he can, uh, destroy the platform you're on and it can lead to a death, so that has happened to me before. Again, I failed to hit him. I think I do die in this fight, and like, uh, I'm just gonna, after I, that happens, I cut to, uh, when you, I cut to when you basically, uh, when it was on the last hit again, because that was around the point, I think I did die. Okay, that's one more hit, but I think I do die right here. Yeah, I think that was the case where he destroyed the platform I was on. That. So uh, I'll see you guys in. I'll cut to when I. Uh, yeah, I'm. There we go. We're on one hit again. But uh, I, this is actually a much better attempt than I wasn't commentating during it. And uh, also, don't think your battle is just won yet because he's going to try to destroy the platform you're on. There are times I've had to him destroy the platform on having to do this battle over again. It still counts as a death if you die in this part. But yeah, now we uh, did that. That is Sonic Story and Sonic Adventure DX completed. Hey, I'll play with you some other time. But I guess all we have to do now is like each time we beat a game with a specific character, we have to watch the we get to watch the credit sequence, which uh believe it or not has more crush 40 music. But, uh, yeah, we're, we're gonna, um, we're gonna watch the credits and, um, I'll be my overall thoughts on the playthrough. But yeah, this is the ending where basically Sonic's made Eggman go off. And Tails shows up. Go straight to uploading this part to pretty much recording Tails' portion. Yeah, Sonic and Tails are running in the Mystic Ruins, and I do like the song choice, by the way. I wonder what Sonic's even saying in this portion, but, uh, yeah, basically he's gonna pose, and there's the credits, and, uh, I'm actually having a bit of fun playing the Sonic Adventure playthrough, but, uh, doing the Sonic Adventure playthrough, um, and we'll get more fun when we get to certain characters, but, uh, let's just say I have enjoyed how this playthrough has turned out so far. It's not, like, totally over because I'm gonna get to the other characters, but, um, yeah, it's like, um, it's like I really, I really like enjoy. Uh, aside from those last few parts of the Sonic portion, like I do enjoy how this playthrough has been going on so far. And like, um, Sonic Adventure, like I'd say as a game, maybe to some it doesn't hold up. But here's kind of my theory. I think there are some things about this game that I do get enjoyment out of. Like maybe some that I didn't want to enjoy, enjoy that I didn't want to demonstrate this place like some of the bugs but uh I do get enjoyment out of like the Sonic levels like Casinoopolis and all that and like um I think about I think Sonic Adventure is one of those games you have to keep in mind like this is a now 25 year old game because it's a launch off of the Dreamcast so it's like 
I think Sonic Adventure might be one of those games where, like, if you look at a game from, like, 1999 using 2024 lens, you're obviously not going to like it as much. But, like, I made the point this early in the playthrough, but you have to kind of look at it in the context of the time. Like, even when the DX portion ca port came out, like, um, Shadow of the Hedgehog, Sonic 06, those games weren't out yet. So, like, um... You can't really, com you couldn't really compare those games unfavorable, this game unfavorably to those two at the time. Like, I can, I've heard like some of the arguments against like Sonic Adventure One, how like buggy it is, but like that's mostly wh what I hear about the Dreamcast, the DX port. Like the Dreamcast port, even though I don't own a Dreamcast, I've heard is much smoother. And basically, I was actually considering doing the 360 port because it upscales nicer, but the problem is. The 360 port plays even worse than this. There's a lot of frame rate issues, even though it upscales on There's a lot of frame rate issues, and like, I think some of the con I think some of the mechanics are the jump. I think some of the control the mechanics are a little different in that part as well. It's a lot buggier as well. Not played the uh, PS3 port, but uh, yeah, it is a, it is a shame that like the more amount of ports Sonic Adventure gets, uh, basically the more unstable the game is. But like. Oh no, I said this I said this in the very first part. It's like it's not really much different saying like Mario 64 is a bad game because Mario 64 DS is an inferior port. Like Mario 64 DS is just an inferior port of a good game. But Sonic Adventure soundtrack's amazing. I think some of the I think some of the levels are amazing. We're gonna get to some of the characters I don't like using. I would say it's pretty much half and half on this game, which characters I like using, which characters I don't like using. And there's already a character you probably know I don't like using, but uh, we're gonna save that to later. We probably already know what it is. I've made fun. I've made. I've, I've made it clear in this Sonic portion before, but uh. Yeah, I'd say. Even though, like, um, I do enjoy Sonic Adventure, like, one of the reasons I've w I wanted to do this playthrough is because even though Sonic Adventure 1 isn't really one of my favorite games, like, it's not really, like, one, an all-time favorite of mine, I still will come, I'll st I don't have, like, much issue popping this game in every once in a while, and I do get enjoyment out of it, it's like, um... The point I wanted to get across was that I do find some of this game's criticism to be unwarranted if you look at the perspective of when this game came out. And yeah, that's one of the reasons I want to do this playthrough, even like Sonic Adventures isn't really one of my favorite games, even though I per even though I like it, I don't really like love it, let's just say, but uh Presented by Sega. And uh, that's 2003 when the uh, DX port came out. But uh, believe it or not, the, one of the other reasons I didn't want to play the 360 port is because the 360 port is not a remake of the Dreamcast port. It's a remake of the DX port. That's another thing that's against it. And we've got another emblem. I'm not going to go for all the emblems, but uh, yeah, it's going to take us back to the intro. But uh, take us back to the intro, but uh. Yeah, might as well uh, demonstrate what character we're going to use next. But, uh, anyway, so next time on Sonic Adventure DX, well, we just have to skip the intro. Again, some of the loading times are pretty long in this, like the DX port. It's worse than the 360 port, but, um, yeah, anyway, so next time on Sonic Adventure DX, we're going to use Tails. See you guys next time.